Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Right now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to show you some verbal inner reactions that I had with UCSD. Uh, you, uh, hang on a second. UCSD Campus Police on November 20th, 2013. That's right, you can see the date right there. The month right there, 11, the date, 2013. This is a three hour long audio file, so it's way past 10 o'clock. It's more closer to one, okay? And this is at the tail end of that three hour audio file. I want you to listen very, very, very carefully concerning how I state I'm being gang stalked on their campus and about how I predict about how I'm going to be gang stalked on each given day. Just listen. I got a question for you. Do you believe in psychics? Sure. Do you really? Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised that you say that. I'm not a normal cop, though. I got long hair and... <laughs> no, I'm being honest with you, okay? No, I believe in psychics. Do you really? Yeah. All right, so you're saying, let me, let, let me ask you this question. If, uh, say if a person, because you're aware that, I, that, that I've stated that I've been gang stalked on this campus. Yes. Okay. Now, so what I do, because gang stalking is very clever in reference to how they operate, but they made, the whole goal is for, to let them, let the target know they're being gang stalked through clever means. So basically what I do before I come on this campus on any date, I'll predict in a video file. I'll state, let's see if anybody gets around me and says, gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalker, gang stalker, gang stalk, oh my god, gang stalk, gang stalk, in that way, around me. And then I come here and I catch it on video and audio every day I've come here. Now, the only way that that could be possible is if I'm a psychic, or I'm a pretty good predictor, or what I'm stating is happening to me is actually happening to me, and that's all I do. Okay? Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. That's right, because that's their way to let me know I'm being stalked. I gotta go catch up my so, partner. I'm letting you know that that's the only thing that I'm trying to do is prove what's happening. All right, sure, fine. You're more than free to film as much as you want. No, I'm not filming anywhere. I mean, like in the library, unless somebody attacks me or something uh, like that. That's I'm gonna. That's when I'll get on my. That's when I'll get on my video camera. All right. Have a good day. This event right here took place on Thanksgiving Day, eight days later, and this what what this is is nothing but a transferred segment of that event to this tape recorder. Because the memory card of the event, I don't think it's on this memory card because I, I took it out. See, these tape recorders, they run by microcards. And so when the event transpired, I believe, if memory serves me correctly, I took the memory card out in order to save it to make sure that I could keep it out of, out, like, out of my pocket in case I get robbed or anything. That way the actual event can be preserved and used later for evidence. Before I did that, though, I took the audio file, the seg this segment of this event, and transferred it over to this tape recorder, okay? This event did play, take place on Thanksgiving Day, eight days later after talking to this guy, and I can prove it undisputably, okay? So the only thing I can do is tell you to trust me right now. I can prove it undisputably, okay? Now, do you, you just heard me tell this UCSD campus police officer <clears throat> on November 20th, 2013, that individuals get around me every single day all over their campus and repeat gang stalking or gang stalker, or gang stalk. You literally just got them hearing me say that to him. I want you to listen to this.
want you to look, take a look at this. This is a, an email that was made on December 9th, 2011 at 7.08 p.m. This is the title of it right here. Gang Stalking Tactics and Methods Predicted Concerning Leslie Williams. Okay? And I'm going to hold it so close up, you're going to be able to see that this is the same exact email printed on this date. And if I go down on the same exact piece of paper, you're going to see what's printed out on this date. Okay? Okay? You see what I'm doing? Okay, in order for you to be able to see that it's the, that, that this is the one, okay? I mentioned in here several times about being gang stalked everywhere I go, including at businesses. Jack in the Box is flat out mentioned right in it. That's right. That's right. McDonald's. Walmarts. That's right. Bus routes. That's right. Social Security offices. Post offices. That's right. That's right. And the sensitization method, direct conversation tactic, which is where they get around me and repeat certain words and phrases. This was printed out on December 9th, 2011. Gang stalking is the first word in the name of the email file. Okay, you can clearly see that it was from December 9th. Okay, you can clearly see that the paper was printed out on 1209. Okay, same paper. Clearly see. Okay, I'm holding it up right now. You can see I'm holding it up. Okay, this is me holding it up. Okay, I'm going to it. December 9, 2011, gang stalking right on the very, very first name of the file name of the email. You can see my name right there. My name is Leslie Williams. Gang stalking, organized stalking. Okay, and what are these guys saying as they're threatening me on Thanksgiving Day? What are they saying as they're threatening me on Thanksgiving Day? Gang stalking. say gang stalking. Gang stalking is the first name that's mentioned in that. Okay, now, I'm going to show you another thing right here, right now, that I'm literally getting ready to show you. This is a number, file number, folder number two, file number 66. I'm on a national radio show telling the nation that I'm a, t I'm a target of gang stalking on August 8th, 2013. Listen, um, I wanted to call tonight because there's a subject matter that you're covering. Uh, there's an article online that the uh, listeners can go to if they feel inclined to do so that's titled, I believe, the ACLU and the Industrial Complex concerning about how Now, I was also reading something about how pharmacies, uh, they, they, they score you uh, with the drugs you take. They, they score you on possible risks, and if you fit into those categories, you're immediately reported to the DEA. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's, that's what's going on, and it, it just seems to me that, um, you know, there are all sorts of things going on. I mean, I told people that the medical state, that the, the Obama plan is uh, part of the medical surveillance state. It's, it's all about, you know, spying on everything you do, what you eat, what you drink, what drugs you take, who you're having sex with, who you're marrying. I mean, they're controlling everything. Well, you know, let me ask you a question. Uh, Clyde, I think you, I've heard on a couple of your shows before about how uh, you've talked, I think, about COINTELPRO. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, there's a lot of Americans right now who are trying to do the right thing. You know, by, 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 you know, blogs, uh, blogs that people write out of concern to get the word out, like being your, you know, your voice is your weapon of choice. Yes. And, you know, there's a lot of people that might just consider an American who's trying to do the right thing and spread the word. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They might view that blog as being nothing but graffiti with punctuation. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, look, I'm a gang stalking target, and I'm a good woman, and I'm, I'm, I'm harassed by, I'm not going to say specific or anything because I know I'm on, I'm on the, you know, the radio show right now. But I can't get no help because of how um, every, you know, if you research this crime, it practically every target is saying that the government is involved it's, it, in some way. Well, you could, you could think the government
regardless of all there are people out there that just want to be a pain in your butt. I mean, I got a guy who tweets me every day saying that he believes that he's a monitor of hate speech radio and he wants to correct me at every moment anything I say about the president. The thing about him is, is he's nothing more than a smug pseudo skeptic ass, and I'm sick and tired of him. And I basically called him out on my Facebook page. I've called him out on Twitter, and he continues to persist. And I tell you what, you know, I'm just waiting for the moment where he does something where I'm just going to say, you know what, guy, you want to keep pushing this? I'll push it too, because it, you know, it just seems to me that he has it all figured out. You know, they all have it figured out of what your agenda is, and they know nothing about you. Well, here's the quiet thing. The only thing I can say is that I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Keep up the good work, and I appreciate you letting me call. And and, and I hope that people, you know, if they when they have the time, if they can investigate what organized stalking and gang stalking is, because there's sure. a lot of Americans right now being targeted. Oh, I had a t I had a friend of mine call me today, tell me that he believes that he's targeted, and I figured it was something that uh, we could talk about eventually. We talk about it all the time on this program, but let's say I got to run. I appreciate the call. Okay, now. Look in the description of this YouTube video for a YouTube title. In fact, look, uh, there's going to be more than one YouTube title in the description of this YouTube video. Because, hang on a second. I'm eating some potato chips. Because there's going to, in the description of this YouTube video, there's going to be several YouTube titles. This is a video series, part of a video series. And what I'm doing right now is compiling evidence together so you can see that the same exact identical harassment the harassment that you just got done hearing from this audio file is happening around me every single place that I go every single place I appreciate you listening I'm learning disabled I'm a target of human trafficking in San Diego County I do not know at all the people who are harassing me and I do not know at all the person who is managing this harassment at all I'm not involved in any illegal or criminal activity whatsoever. I am not a threat to myself or others, and I am not mentally ill. But those three labels and more are the, are the types of labels that the organized crime syndicated cops and doctors, it's a syndicate, it's organized crime in the system, attempt to put on targeted individuals <coughs> in order to discredit them, to discredit the truth the target is telling about them. That's right, and the places that are being used for the harassment, which, which aids and abets them in the breaking down of a target. Today's date is December uh, 13th, 2013, and my name is Leslie Williams. And what I'm doing right now is literally showing you today's date by showing you a video picture of my cell phone. And, and if any event... <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got done eating. If any event transpires concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me, along any of my routes that causes me to be arrested, evicted from where I'm hiking, or put in county mental health or an area neighborhood hospital psychiatric floor, it will be a direct result of retaliation, okay, and for the concerning the original motivation concerning this gang stalking expedition happening towards me. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. The only way that they could have put these little these little skanks along my route to threaten me and say gang stalking as they're doing it they had to know where I was at in order to do it. So all you gotta do is think about that. Alright, thank you, and have a nice day.